In this video, we'll discuss the GraphQL resolver mappings as part of our custom GraphQL API in the Now platform. Resolver mappings define how the resolvers are mapped to the various fields and functions in the schema. They're found in the GraphQL API record under the related list labeled GraphQL resolver mappings. Let's take a look at this example. Our schema has a query function called getGame, as we see here. We'll use the path field to identify what part of the schema we want to map and the resolver to tell it what script to run when that function is called. Here's the neat thing about resolvers. They can be used more than once in a mapping. Let's say we have a schema that has a function called getUser. We then create a resolver to get a user and map that query colon getUser to the getUser resolver. Now, as you might expect, the user may have a reference field to manager, which in it itself is another user. We can create another mapping to connect the same get user resolver to the manager field in the user type. We'll see an example of this in the video on complex data types. Resolver mappings are one of the most common things to forget when creating a custom GraphQL API. So make a mental note, put a sticky note on your monitor, or some other reminder so you don't forget, which Many of us have done until it becomes second nature. Now let's move on to the next video, where we'll build a new API from scratch, including the schema, the resolvers, and resolver mappings, and then we'll run some test queries on it.